The Tollens test, also known as the Silver Mirror test, is a qualitative biochemical test used to distinguish between aldehydes and ketones, which are collectively known as carbonyl compounds and contains the carbonyl functional groups in their structure. Aldehydes give a positive Tollens test, while ketones give a negative test. Alpha hydroxy ketones, however, are an exception and gives a positive test as well. The Tollens test is performed on a sample that had been confirmed to contain a carbonyl compound prior to this test. The Tollens test is based on the principle that aldehydes are easily oxidized by mild oxidizing agents into their corresponding carboxylic acids, as compared to ketones which can only be oxidized by strong oxidizing agents. Tollens test is performed using Tollens reagent, which is a coordination complex between silver ions and ammonia in a basic aqueous solution. The reagent is named after its discoverer, Bernhard Tollens, a German chemist. The chemical formula of Tollens reagent can be represented as shown here. Tollens reagent is an unstable complex with a short shelf life. It is therefore prepared afresh whenever a test is to be performed. Tollens reagent is prepared in a two-step process. First, a few drops of dilute sodium hydroxide are added to aqueous 0.1 molar silver nitrate. The hydroxide ions of sodium hydroxide convert the silver aqua complex form into silver oxide, which precipitate from the solution as a brown solid. In the second step, aqueous ammonia is added to dissolve the brown silver oxide precipitate. The resulting solution contains the diamine silver coordination complex, which is a mild oxidizing agent and is the main component of Tollens reagent. When Tollens reagent is allowed to react with an aldehyde or a alpha hydroxy ketone, the diamine silver complex oxidizes the aldehyde into its corresponding carboxylate ion. In the process, the diamine silver complex in the reagent is reduced to elemental silver and aqueous ammonia. The elemental silver precipitates out of solution and onto the inner surface of the reaction vessel, giving a characteristic silver mirror. The carboxylic ion on acidification will give its corresponding carboxylic acid. The carboxylic acid is not directly formed in the first place, as the reaction takes place under alkaline conditions. A silver mirror may not be formed in some cases, especially when the reagent isn't a clear solution or when the glassware used to carry out the reaction is not thoroughly clean. In such cases, a grey to black precipitate is formed instead. Nevertheless, it is also a positive test. In this video, we will be performing the Tollens test on aldehydes and ketones in order to demonstrate the silver mirror reaction of aldehydes. To perform the Tollens test, you will need the following. 0.1 molar silver nitrate solution, dilute sodium hydroxide solution about 10%, ammonium hydroxide solution about 5 normality, glucose powder, Clean and dry test tube with holder. Hot water bath. Droppers. We begin the experiment by first preparing fresh Tollens reagent required for our test. Take about 5 ml of 0.1 molar silver nitrate in the test tube. Add sodium hydroxide solution dropwise until a light brown precipitate is formed in the tube. This brown precipitate is silver oxide. Now add ammonium hydroxide solution to the tube dropwise until the precipitate dissolves completely. Tollens reagent is now prepared and ready to be used for the test. To perform the Tollens test, add several drops of an aldehyde such as glucose solution to the freshly prepared Tollens reagent. Allow a minute or so for the reaction to occur in the tube. You may also place the tube in a hot water bath to speed up the reaction. A positive aldehyde test results in the formation of either a black precipitate in the tube or a layer of elemental silver on the inner walls of the tube. The same test performed on a ketone sample gives a negative result with neither a black precipitate nor a silver mirror being formed. On an aesthetic note, the Tollens test can also be performed using a round bottom flask as the reaction vessel. Follow the same reaction steps as before and you will get a visually pleasing silver mirror on the inner wall of the flask. 
This can be preserved as showpiece material after thoroughly washing off the reactant chemicals from the flask using distilled water.